Hello, I'm Ali from Sweden Cornet. Sweden Cornet manages complex hybrid cloud blockchain infrastructure. We provide security, privacy, reliable operations, governance, legal, compliance, and risk management services. This is the website of Sweden Cornet. You can read more about us here. Sweden Cornet has decided to run for DTube leader with ID Cornet. Its headquarter is located in Stockholm, Sweden, but it has global vision and reach. DTube 0.9 presents and supports a new innovative workflow and token sharing model where users vote on videos to reward all contributors. Since DTube 0.9 is an independent blockchain network, it requires a new account to be created to be part of DTube blockchain. You cannot use Steemit account in DTube 0.9 without onboarding. The onboarding process creates a new DTube account for you with the same name as you had in Steemit. Thanks to the DTube team as they have implemented the Steemit onboarding process to provide you the possibility to claim your new account in DTube with identical name as you had in Steemit. The deadline for Steam onboarding process is limited up to 31st July 2019. So hurry up! As you know your Steam account has one master password and four different key pairs for you. But during DTube account creation process, you will get a single new key pair which has all the authorities that is maximum permissions that you need. You can see your key pairs connected with your DTube account under your DTube channel as shown in this picture. If you need more key pairs with limited rights, then here you can add and connect new key pairs with your DTube account under new key. DTube accounts provide you very granular level of control on your keys permissions. The first key pair created during your account creation process has all the rights to perform an action on your account and wallet related actions. But when you attach additional key pairs, with your account, you can choose to assign following permissions. This is much better than Steam default keepers options. Thought you may attach additional keys and permissions via CLI for Steam account. If you have further questions about DTube 0.9, then you are most welcome to ask in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. And stay tuned to our upcoming videos. That's all for today. See you next time.